da, 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 da. The guy is like, hey, hey, I didn't realize you were a mod. Could you just code me up some some dragon armor, please? I got a nice chunk of cash and I got some nice herbs. So it was overall very, really good. I'll go back with three items and finish it up. I feel like I managed to glitch one of the guards. He's not attacking me. <laughs> oh, lots of prayer levels. Wow, cool, I got a scepter piece. And we're done. Awesome, 1,000 slayer experience. And we leveled up three levels and now 18. One thing I haven't done yet, which I should have done a long time ago, was the nexus south of Lumbridge. And I did reference that in like episode two, I think. So uh, let's go do that now because it gives like enough experience for level 40 prayer so I should get a nice chunk. I think it's 37,000 and I have 5,000 now so maybe like 41 I'd get or something, I don't know. But yeah, let's, let's, I'm gonna grab my sword and then we'll get right through there. I never realized there was a grand exchange in Lumbridge. I heard there was a world that the people did this on in, in PvP scape, I was about to say in Dark Cape. Uh, so hopefully I'm on the right one. I think I'm on world 101. It seems like there's enough people here at least, but they don't seem to be doing very well. <laughs> okay, let's get this started then. Literally the best way. The best way to get through the grotesque nexus thing, because it's so boring after a while, is to listen to AHA! Take on me Take me Banished him. We got two prelos from burying the bones. Well, you might be wondering why am I listening to Aha? Well, my girlfriend mentioned that they had a new sing they had a new CD that came out this year, so I listened to it and it I like it. It has the same feeling as the old ones, but with like a new twist on them, kind of. It still sounds like the original ones, but new songs. I'm not a huge Aha fan anyway, but I really. They're really dancey and nice, I like them. Ah, oh, sweet, I can use Protect Item now. It's going straight on my quick prayers. Ooh, grotesque. Gotcha. Level 30 prayer, nice. There we go, there it is. I can now use Protect for Magic. How the hell did I level up Defense? Ooh, what you say? Ooh, that you only meant well. You did. Someone attacked me and I KO'd them. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> There's a guard here. Wow. Groot. I am Groot. Bull motherfucker. <laughs> Go to the south, bull motherfucker. <laughs> so angry in the chat. I'm level 40 prayer. I can use protect from range now. Yeah. <laughs> stats. Then <laughs> two hitter. Ow. <laughs> I hide my stats because I don't want people to see my stats. I think, oh, he's easy to kill and then they'll kill me. Good fight, lassie. Good fight. Oh, uh, grotesque. <sighs> Almost missed it. I saw some guy channeling towards it. I was lucky with that one. Yeah, 41. <laughs> chill, chill, dog. <laughs> Man, chill. Okay, 45. We're still going strong. Mystic Might and Overcharge. Oh, 44 combat as well. Oh, come on. Stop attacking me every five seconds. Come on, Ranger guy. You can do it. Kill him. Oh, he's so close, though. Oh, yeah, you got him. Nice. Wait, was he called Rainy? No, it was Ramini, okay. Prayer level, I'm level 50 prayer, yay! Yeah, I finally done. That took way longer than I thought it was gonna. 51 prayer, almost 52. Copernicus, how can I help you with this statue thingy of yours? Should I use it for prayer or for slayer? Maybe prayer, since prayer is a pain in the ass to train. 1k construction, gets me to level nine, wow. From level one. And then if we pray at the statue, that gives me 9,000 prayer experience. I guess I'm 52 prayer and I'm 9 construction now. Oh, I can use smite now. That's nice. Let's head to the rest of them. Oh, I can't do the canifus one yet because I haven't done priest in peril. That's 8 more construction levels and I'm 17. <laughs> and that's just from doing these. And then more prayer experience. And I got another prayer level, 53. <laughs> oh, I didn't level up prayer again. I got 7 more cons construction levels though. Let's go do troll invasion before some random crap piece of shit. 
comes in and attacks me. Aw, cute. I won, I won hit the troll. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Okay, the combat experience here is pretty shit, but <laughs> the prayer experience is pretty nice. Defense level 22. Oh no, 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 I didn't get the pick of the big bunny dropped. <laughs> let's plop that on prayer before someone kills me and I lose it. <laughs> got three prayer levels. Okay, let's do some rune crafting. I got from level nine rune crafting to level 14. I could do agility, but I'd rather do the grand tree and then get like 16K XP and get like level 20 maybe. Oh no, wait, it's way more. It's like 30 something. Hmm, you can attack people in rune spam, but can you bring items into rune spam? I don't, I wonder if you can in Darkscape though, because you have to be teleported to get here. I've gotten like, how many levels? Six levels already in RuneSpan. Just trying to do the daily. I'm almost done now. You know what? I think I'm just gonna AFK RuneSpan for now. It's gonna find find the best spot to do RuneSpan and then I'll just stay there. Okay, now I have a spot until I'm I'm get to 33 and when I get to 33, I can move to level two RuneSpan. <laughs> the guy is like, hey, hey, I didn't realize you were a mod. Could you just code me up some, some dragon armor, please? There then, oh, that was easy. Island right next to the entrance has the spot up. Um, what the hell? This island is shit. There's nothing here. I went from 9 runecrafting to 44. <laughs> There's nobody training in like the, the good training spots. They're all standing by the entrance. Yeah, because all, all of the good nodes are spawning over here and there's nobody else. Okay, that's weird. There's like two different skyboxes. There's one there. And then if you go to the side here... No, wait. If you go down here... Then it kind of darkens out. And it goes into like the night skybox that is in darkscape like everywhere. But here it's normal. I don't get it. But yeah, anyway, we're 66 rune crafting now. Isn't that amazing? And that means we can go to the high area. And I haven't really done this that long either. I've just been doing this probably like two nights. I've been doing this like a couple hours each night. <laughs> and I've actually got the 66 already. So that's great. And we can go up the bone ladder. So due to lack of voice on these clips, I'm just going to do some post commentary on these, but it goes back to live commentary afterwards, so don't worry. So I finally decided to go do the god statues because I hadn't done those yet, and uh, I managed to get a lot of experience. And uh, this was done like the first month, so I've been doing them every month since release. And uh, this first one got me six construction levels, which is nice, and I hit level 30, and then afterwards I did prayer. And that also got me a level, I believe. Yes, it got me a prayer level. I'm at level 57 now. Next up, I did the next one, and it gave me another four construction levels. 34 construction now. And I didn't get a prayer level that time, sadly. Now I have another one, and I got to uh, level three construction levels, and got to 33. And I got a prayer level as well. So I got to level 58 prayer, which also boosted me up to level 47 combat. Then I went to Meg, because I realized I hadn't done here yet. Uh, she can be done every week, and gives you like an experience lamp. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I, had, I couldn't get the experience land this week though, but oh well. So then afterwards, we went to Troll Invasion. I had to do all 20 waves though, but I got a couple of levels from doing it, so that was fine. Got 41 attack, got a constitution level as well, I think. And there was a defense level, which got me to the 48 combat. And by killing the cliff guy, I got level 25 defense. And I also got a book at the end, which got me to level 60 prayer. Got me like 44k experience in that one. And then I decided to go do Argoroth, the weekly. But since there is no teleport there, because you have to actually teleport with Lodestone and you can't actually do that with items, you have to run there. But uh, the fight went overall pretty smoothly, and I mean, Adam and Two-Hand owned Argoroth really badly. And then afterwards I had to run back again, because I didn't have any teleport back. So I kind of want Mauritania access, so I figured, let's quickly do the Priest Apparel quest. Uh, but as we all know, that no, no quest is ever simply as just do it in Darkscape, because there's always some... A PK around the corner trying to nab your gear. Uh, but regardless, we'll try because I want more to, to get into Mortania, specifically for the monthly thing, but also because it's a nice place to have unlocked. So we start the quest by talking to King Roald. There's nothing hawkish pockety about it. You only need a bucket and 50 rune essence or 26 pure essence uh, to complete the quest. You also have to kill some level 30s, but that's pretty simple. Yeah, after that, you should have Priest Imperial undergoing. So you need to investigate the temple to the east. So only need a bucket with you, but uh, since I have Runes, is going to bring 25 of those as well, and hopefully I don't get killed or something or attacked because I don't have any food with. Uh, but you need those for, you need 50 Rune Essence for the end of the quest, so I'm just going to prepare a little bit, hopefully, yeah, as I said, nothing happens and I, and I don't lose them, but I can always just buy some more as well in the ground. Oh wait, this is also probably the only Darkscape thing I'm going to record while I'm sick, because I currently have Rune Flu from RuneFest. I don't know, a lot of people got sick from RuneFest, I don't know why. Okay, so now I need to inspect this place here. 
I guess I'm gonna knock on the door. Very ominous this place, isn't it? They want me to kill the dog in the part of the door, which is a bad idea because it's the guardian. But uh, we have to do it. I have to kill that thing. Cerberus. Which is funnily enough the, the name of the old school of uh, Hellhound thing. Yeah, okay, that's done. Knock on the door again. Now I need to head back to King Roll, then I'm probably gonna uh, swap out some some of the essence for rune for for yeah for pure essence. Yeah, if you're wondering how you get a bucket, you can basically just buy one in the in the in the general store here for like 10 2 GP. Yeah, 2 GP. Stock seems pretty low though, so you might have a hard time finding it, but it should be fine, I think. Talk about priest in peril. Grab my pure essence and the bucket, and let's head out. We have to go back again now, and we have to find out what the hell is going on. Okay, let's open the door. I need to kill these until we get a golden key. There we go. There's a golden key. Now we need to climb up the staircase. Here, a drizzle locked up all, all tightly. Talk through the cell. Okay, so we have to go in into the basement and we have to fix this problem now to get him out. But we can't just unlock the door because there's a, there's a vampire in the coffin. One of these is not like the other. Tinderbox. Silver key. Okay, so use the golden key on the monument with the silver key. And you'll swap the keys. If you just try to take it, you'll take 10% of your damage, your health. But yeah, now that we've done this, we can take some water from the well in the middle, and we're basically done, so we can go back again. Okay, so let's talk, start by talking to Dresel himself. We have blessed holy water on the coffin, and we should be good. Now we need to meet him downstairs. For some reason, this place is high threat area, I don't get it. Because I'm bringing him some rune essence, because that's the only way to cleanse the salve. And we should be good. Do, 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 do. Wolfbane dagger as well. It's a pretty shit weapon though, but yeah, that's the quest done. So now we can go to Mauritania. So Mauritania is high threat area. So we're gonna sneakily try to get over to the monthly statue. Hopefully I don't meet anyone along the way, but I can see I can see red dots, so that there's probably people here. Yeah, that guy is not very nice. Really? Really? You're gonna try to punch me to death. Really? He has no items, probably, either. Okay, I don't have time for this yet. Get your ass away from me. Let's try to go for Slayer experience. Three construction levels. Wonder how many Slayer levels I'm gonna get. Ooh, nice, four Slayer levels, cool. To somehow get back out of this area, <laughs> because I don't want my height, I don't want my gear in, in high zone. Banks. Ah, uh, Lysurgus. Looks like they replaced the guard dog. Is there a bank chest out here? If there was, then I could do broke it home. But if there isn't, then I have to go bank. There's a bank deposit box here, okay. And let's get into the quest, shall we? Talk to Maria. You don't need anything for this quest. Okay, then let's head into the mansion. This is all instanced, so it should be good. Ah, creepy. Okay, so let's see how well I remember this quest now. You feel safe in this room, even though there's a high threat level. Ah, I do love the jump scares in this quest. I need more quests like this one, to be honest. Use that on there. And yeah, for a full quest guide on this, you should just watch my live stream on it, to be honest. Pretty entertaining as well. Get my full reactions on the first time I, I, I actually did this, and it was freaky as fuck. Funny, because this, this quest is like a, a year old now, I think. It got released last October. Ah, right, this pain in the ass thing. Now I think it should be good. Yeah, there we go. These are post quests, or rather, I don't have the skill levels to actually open them up. And you, I don't think you can actually do it since since you can't get ten engineering now. You need ten in all skills, so it's impossible to actually get those. Ta-da! I don't think it's possible to get into this room actually. You can peek through the door, and it's like a gallery, but I don't think you can get in there, like from any side. Let's search these research notes. And yeah, if you're wondering, uh, every time there's like particle smoke underneath the door. Uh, it means that the ghost is on the other side. So if you peek through, then you can make the ghost go disappear. Otherwise, you can wait as well. Uh, if you enter, he will start attacking you and you will take damage, so avoid that. Here, this should be the spider door, I think. Yeah, there we go. A dead servant on the bed. Grab that from his hand. And there's a lady with no face. Yeah, see, there we go. Ghost is on the other side, so if you peek, then he should disappear. It's kind of annoying when he's in every freaking room as well. Place two gems, and that unlocks the door. The two gems to unlock the door. Another two gems to unlock the door. We'll be back here a little later. This is to demonstrate what happens when he he attacks you. You only lose like 10% 10, 10 of your health around that, so I mean, you can survive a couple hits. And this mystery meat heals you for like your maximum health. Not really? You're in every freaking room. Okay, which cupboard was- which room was the cupboard and which one was not the cupboard? That is a dagger one. 
I think this is a useless room. This is a safe room, and you can get some meat from the chest. Investigate the shrine, and you'll find a key. There's now a head in the way. There's only one way you can go. Oh, glass shatters, and now you take damage in these purple, purple damage rooms. Now there's purple in the main room, so that's annoying. And also cannot rest in the in the mansion itself, because it's not a resty place, I guess. So my run is just forever going to be very, very low. Here's piano room, and you want to use the grand piano key on piano, which unlocks a door here. And in this room, you want to run because it's going to be purple. You want to search a skeleton on the side here. Let's see where he is. Don't become a skeleton like these people. Now let's head down into the basement. Dead butler, let's loot him. Found a cleaver key. One of these doors is also a safe room. Safe rooms save your progress, so they're nice. If you disconnect, you have to start from the last save point. So I start from here if I DC or or die or something now. So that that door does not work. We're gonna be going into the basement later, so let's go in this one. Arguably the most annoying room in the mansion. You have to time up your run with these so you don't get stabbed by flying forks and glass on the floor. Nice, I managed to do it without taking any damage. Pro. Jump in this room for a quick one. We need to grab some stuff from the door. And we need to use the pipettes on the pig to grab some human ashes. Wish we could grab the castingware's armor as well, to be honest. Now we're gonna go cooking. Pipette on there, and then we'll use the human ashes. And then we could take that. And we've got alkaline concoction. We can use that on the door to grab a key from our mouth. In this room, we need to remember to grab the key on the hook there. I always forget that. There's nothing else in here. So let's head up. And keep in mind that this is the main area we're getting into, so it's gonna be purple. The staircase. Ghost here as well as the key. He's lost a brush, so we need to go find that. I'm actually amazed at how good my memory is about this mansion. I guess I did this quite a quest quite a few times on repeat just to get the rewards, but let's see, I need to open and investigate the bust. And that opens up that trapdoor. Another thief guy. Dead thief. Everyone's dead here. Now we have both eye gems, now we have to go back to that room. See use both eye gems on here, so let's put that on there. On there. That unlocks the wall, a safe room, a search the shrine, and we found the hairbrush. Now we have to go back to the ghost. Use the hairbrush on the ghost. And now there's a monster following you through the hallways. Oh, uh, we can move the guy out of the way now. Cut that down. A uh, noose key is in this way. And yeah, that monster will one hit KO you if it if it manages to hit you. So be careful when you open doors now, because it's gonna be in every corridor. There's no the bathroom zone exists in routine. Be honest there's no toilets there's no showers but open up here and climb down you see the people when i look through here dun 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 zeros mark and some symbols that you have now you now remember the symbols your character remembers the symbols so you don't have to remember them for him now i have a cheeky little puzzle here for you it's fairly simple though if you know what you're doing just move this one move this one move that one and then stand in the middle. There we go. Climb down mountaineering gear. And this is a safe room. Yeah, let's search the reception desk. There's a key over here you want to grab. Saved, and we have to head up again. Okay, so you need to get to the main area now to get to the top floor on the second... Yeah, on the top floor. Uh, but you have two options to get there. You can take the safe route, which is go up these staircases and go through lots of corridors. Or you can go through the sword room again. I prefer the sword room because it's faster, but you know, to each their own. It's more dangerous. But yeah, two times I didn't get hit by anything. Pro status. Really annoying that you can't rest in this place at all. Now you can do a daredevil method of doing this. I'm gonna try the daredevil method. You have to go in here and you have to unlock the door closest to you right there really fast before the thing spawns and you get KO'd. I'll grab these. Now you have the spell you need. Okay, next up you have to cast a spell on thing to finish the quest. Now we have to cast it on that. There we go. And you're done. So brutal because this is Darkscape, you know. Talk to Maria for the reward and we should be done. Put that up prayer. We've got a new ring which is better than the one I have. So I can do a replay but I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to bed. So good night guys.